Hello. In this video tutorial, I will show you the code document table, which is a code frequency tool. To use it, you go to Analysis, Code Document Table. Here you have on top left all of the codes of the project, on the right side the code groups, below on the left the documents of the project, and on the right the document groups. So let's see, I'm going to select all codes and all documents. Here I have the number of quotations linked to each one of the codes that are shown as rows uh, in each one of the documents which are shown as columns. Now of course you can select as many uh, codes and as many documents as you want. It's just a matter of selecting and unselecting up here. And at the same time, you can do the same operation using uh, code groups, which means all of the quotations are linked to um, all of the codes that belong to a specific, uh, let's say, a specific uh, code group. So, so first of all, if you select codes, will be all of the quotations linked to these codes. If you select code groups, will be all of the quotations linked to the codes that belong to uh, the code group. So let's say here I select, well, let's select these three code uh, uh, groups. And now below I will select uh, the document group blog as well as the this other uh, document group. So here we have the code frequencies for groups of documents, uh, I'm sorry, for group, groups of codes across groups of documents. Now, all of this can be, um, you can produce an output in Excel. All you do is you go to export table, uh, that will generate an Excel file that you can open later on. Now, there is a variation here. You can ask the program Atlas TI to count uh, the quotations, which is what we have done. But you may also ask Atlas TI to count the words. Count the words that make the quotations that are linked to the codes. So, counting words uh, could be an indicator of how much uh, these people are talking about a given topic. But of course, uh, the research team has to determine what would be the interpretation given to counting the uh, number of words linked to the quotations. And now you can click on Export Table, and that will uh, send this data to an Excel spreadsheet, and there you can work with it however you want. And in Excel, you will have a table like this one. Uh, with this table, you can you can create your own charts and, and, and do the calculations that you would like to make. For example, you can do something like this. And now you have a nice chart that you can include in your report. And let's see here, you add the title, and you can say something like this. Uh, let me see, code frequency. References to family across documents, or perhaps uh, yes, across documents. Let's let's do something simple. Well, here you go, and and uh, the process, as you see, is very is very easy. Thank you.